All right, and here we are. Big Boy Sports is live for the, well, not live, but you will see this at some point tonight for the first time since before the pandemic. Since before the pandemic, I am live with a actual person talking and discussing things that we need to discuss. So this is a um, this is a very, very interesting person, a, a very good friend of ours who uh, we are in a Discord together. We we have talked, you know, on various occasions, and he is the owner, well, part owner of the AAL2's West Virginia Miners. And this is Mr. Mac Davis. How are you doing tonight, sir? How are you doing tonight? Very well. I am. I'm excited to be on the show, and you know, it's good to finally connect face to face here. I I know we've been talking for a while on Discord, so it's good. Uh, good to be talking face to face. All right, and you know what? What? First things first. How did you? How did you even get involved with the miners organization? How did you get involved? Yeah. So you know, I uh, I. We've been speaking with each other on Discord, and I've been in that group chat for a while. And I, I said in 2021, you know, my goal is to own a uh, arena football franchise. And you know, I uh, I went over to Wheeling. Um, I I reached out to the American Arena League. I said I want to bring a team in. I want it to be either in Wheeling or Bridgeport. And they told me, hey, we have someone already doing it in Wheeling, West Virginia. I said, oh, all right, sounds great. And uh, if you can give me their contact info, that would be uh, that would be great. And they did, and I was able to uh, to contact them. And uh, immediately, right off the bat, Chris and I, who who's the other co-owner of the franchise, um, we we really were connecting with each other, and uh, we we were talking sports and everything, minor league sports, minor league baseball, uh, and uh, we just kind of reached an agreement there. I uh, you know I told him about the horses he. He had interest in the horse racing that I do. Uh, he told me about his other ventures, owning a uh, couple arena football teams in the past. And I was like, hey, I mean, if that's, if, you know, if this is the team that we need to, to get the job done, uh, why don't we do this? And we reached an agreement and that's how I became a co-owner of, uh, of the Wheeling Miners arena football team. Yes, and you became co-owner what a couple weeks ago or close yeah, to no, weeks it was, ago. I don't even really know. It feels like it's been a while, but I believe uh I believe it's only been like three weeks. Um, you know, we, we did rebrand. It was the West Virginia Miners, now it is the Wheeling Miners. Um, you know, we're really we're really focused on bringing arena football back to uh to Wheeling in uh in the city over there. It's a great city. Uh, I don't know if you visited before, but Wheeling is a um, it's a really good city. It's in the it's in the metro area of Philadelphia. So, you know, bring arena football back was a was a big goal and a a huge um, a huge accomplishment for for me. And getting ownership in a team was really uh, really something that I I'm excited about. And it's not going to be the only team that I have. You know, we're already looking forward into the future even though we haven't taken a snap yet here with the Wheeling Miners, but we're looking into the future for, for other locations and other franchises for, for various leagues. So we're, we're excited about that. That is, that is all good dandy. And um, you, and you said you want to own more teams. Is that correct? Why not? Yeah. Why not? You know, I love Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, that's one of the spots, you know, the Louisville extreme are over there. Um, you know, I was fortunate to win a uh, win a big race over in Louisville at Churchill Downs, the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby. So, uh, you know, I I would love to to be able to to bring a team in, call them the Louisville Stallions or something, uh, Louisville Thoroughbred, something cool uh, like that. And you know, there's some other locations on my mind, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, uh, Chris wants to open up a team in in I uh, in Charlotte and. You know, I'd I'd be open to that as well. So, you know, I think it. I think you know, arena football needs needs some uh, needs some representation still. And uh, if I can if I can still be able to open up teams, I might as well go ahead and do it. 
Okay. And could you could you reveal who the other co-owner is for people who don't know really? Yeah. Quick? Well, yeah. So two of them want to be private, um, just private investors, but the other co-owner is Chris Duffy. Uh, he be- yes. he I believe he owned the Atlanta Havoc. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. It's it, it was a team they played in the American Arena League. They won a championship. Um, he told me I I believe it's in Atlanta, uh, but. It was either Carolina or Atlanta, uh, but I know his last venture was in Carolina, um, in Fayetteville. So, ah, uh, yes, yes, the mm-hmm. famed Chris Duffy. Yes, yes, he has been a fixture in the indoor arena scene for quite some time. Um, mm-hmm. And you did mention uh, the Atlanta uh, Havoc, Carolina Energy. You know those teams that were in the AAL and. It looks like both of y'all were brainstorming, yeah. uh, you know, couple teams that have been, you know, in past markets, you know, that, you know, have, you know, gone by the wayside, you know, mm-hmm. uh, again, you guys both together, y'all have brought, yeah. you know, wheeling a team again, y'all have brought wheeling another team. Uh, mm-hmm. I remember a couple of years ago, you know, we had the West Virginia Rough Riders and unfortunately, yeah. It just, unfortunately, they were unable to continue. It, it, it was, it was very unfortunate that they couldn't. But it is what it is. Uh, of course, we all know um, by now. I hope, I hope everybody knows by now the story of the Louisville Extreme and how that happened and how mm-hmm. that season fared. Well, really, like a quarter of a season. It, it was in twenty twenty one. For me, at least, I'm I'm a Florida native. I'm from St. Petersburg, so uh, when the Tampa Bay Tornadoes came in, I was very excited about them. I was like, "Oh, that's gonna be my team," and uh, I don't know where they went. So uh, I can tell you, they're not playing football no more. But uh, but I hope everything's well with them. But I I would love to bring a team into Amelie Arena or somewhere like that. Same for mm. Columbus. Columbus deserves one. They've been snubbed a couple of times. I've heard. Uh, it, are there is there a team in Columbus or no? They it's, said it's in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, Columbus, Ohio. No, they, no, there is not. Team and then it fell through. You said where? Didn't the didn't one of the leagues say they were gonna bring a team in Columbus and that fell through? Oh, um, it was the IFL that was going to bring a team okay. mm-hmm. into Columbus, and unfortunately, it's gone. It's gone pretty badly. There's just been a lot of logistical hurdles okay, and yeah. financial hurdles that have not been able to be overcome. So at this point, um, the Columbus Wild Dogs are probably not going to be a thing. I mean, it just is what it is at this point. It's the nature of the business. Um, it's disappointing. They have a they have a pretty cool logo. I've seen. Um, they've had a they've had a great logo uh, for quite some time now that I'd love to get merchandise of, but, uh, you know, it's sad that they're, they're not playing, uh, anytime soon. I mean, can't hold out hope. I mean, yeah. who knows, who knows if they'll play, we'll, we'll continue to wait, I guess, <laughs> um, in the near future to see what in the world the IFL will be cooking yeah. up with that location. Um, so I do want to discuss, want to discuss a little bit about um, the AL2, where yeah. you guys kind of are. You know, you guys are in the um, the newly christened East Division of the AL2. I wanted y'all to, or rather, I wanted you to talk a little bit about, you know, you know your schedule. You know, a little bit about, you know, maybe. You know where people can find your team. Yeah, you know, season tickets and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll intersect when I can. So go, yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. So uh, we're we're releasing our store and season tickets um, starting on Friday. Uh, we're gonna have everything out. Um, you can find us at go West Virginia Min- uh, go wvminers dot com. Uh, all of our information is gonna be there. Um, Wheeling Miners is the name of our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, TikTok page as well. Uh, so you can find us on there. As for the league, you know, our schedule, uh, it didn't come out the way we want it to. That's okay. Uh, you're going to run into that. You can't be asking for much. Um, so 
So, you know, we're, we're excited to be able to have our first home game on April 19th. Uh, I think that's going to be good. I know we play, I believe we play Southern Maryland on opening day on, uh, on the 13th, or we might play the Bulls or whatever team that is, the Stampede, um, on the league opening day, which is April 13th. Uh, but our first opening day is going to be um, April 19th uh, at West Banco at 7 p.m. We're playing uh, Southern Maryland that day. Oh, so the, I guess there was a change. It looks like so. Oh, the there schedule I have here in what, front of me is um, what, hold on. What's the schedule look like? Oh no, we're playing Jersey opening day. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. you guys are playing Jersey. We're playing the, Jersey opening the day. AL two champions, the Jersey Bearcats. We'll get on, them. We'll open, be them. on home opening night. You guys have five home games this year from the looks Real of it. Wide. Um you said what? We have five home games, three away yes. games, and then yes. we're getting five, the five home, the three on the road. Um, yep. You have um, you have the Steel Sea Stampede twice, an AAL yep. two playoff team from last season. Yep. You Delaware, have right? the Jersey Bearcats again. Both uh, both games, I, I'm expecting both of those games to be very very fun. Yep. Um, Again, the Jersey Bearcats are the AL2 defending champions. You have the Maryland Eagles twice, along with the Maryland Warriors. And well, the Maryland Warriors are just one, it's just one game yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. And then you have the other expansion AL2 team, the Delaware Bull Sharks, who have been kind of quiet. They've been kind of quiet, but it's uh, it's fine. Um but hopefully they make some noise soon. Hopefully they make some noise. I That's hope always so. good. I mean, it would be good to see uh, good to see the teams promoting themselves. I know our team will be adding a game, uh, just an expo game, uh, against one of the teams in Pittsburgh. We're we're still undecided what team, uh, but we really want to have that Wheeling Pittsburgh uh, little battle, and we want to establish that then. So uh, we're talking about that. As for as for the American Arena League, you know. Uh, we're playing at West Banco, but we're also going to have a feeder team um, that's just going to be an independent team uh, that's going to be playing in Traldofia, which will be uh, to be named later. But they're going to be like our our minor league to the minor league to the minor league. Uh, so it, a lot of minor league right there. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. Um, but there we're adding them into uh, Highland Sport Complex in uh, Traldofia. West Virginia, which is around like 20 minutes away from Wheeling. Okay. Okay. That's, that's interesting. That's, that's an interesting addition. That's a little interesting yeah. additional yeah. tidbit. Well, um, you know, we, we primarily would not like to go on the road against Southern Maryland. So um, just because of the distance and, you know, we're playing in an arena, they're not. So uh, we're, we're kind of getting that feeder team to go out there for, uh, for that one game. Okay. Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's certainly that's, something. I mean, that is something that, is. you know, that's something that we, we discussed and we, we, uh, we decided would be best for, uh, for the team at least, you know, we're signing some pretty big names soon. I, uh, you know, I can't release them right now, but we're signing some pretty uh, major names through our connections that we've gotten. So, uh, you know, safety of the players, I think it's really important. And, um, and, you know, we'd rather have them playing on a, on a nice field than uh, the one where they might get hurt. And it's earlier in the season and we don't want them to be out for the rest of the season. So we're just looking pretty conservatively there for, for their best interest. True that, true that. Um, and speaking of building a roster, how has it been so far, you know, with you and your co-owners, how has it been so far building this roster? I know you've only owned the team for like a couple weeks, but, Again, how, how does it feel, you know, getting into the swing of things of being an owner? Yeah, I honestly will tell you, I didn't realize how much work it was going to be. I mean, I'm always up for a challenge and I, I took on the work and I was like, let's do this. Um, but, you know, it it's a it's a heavy load that, you know, when you're when you guys are the only ones, we have a great general manager uh, who will be named later. Um, we're you know, when it's just us four doing all the work, um, it, it's difficult 
to uh, to be able to to uh, to sign guys and stuff. You know, we're we're thankful. We get people who reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram all the time, asking to play for the team. But building a roster has been difficult. But you know, Chris Chris has been in the arena football game for uh, tons of years. You know, I think he's one of those names that you know, as an owner of a team. Um, so you know, he he has a lot of those connections and. He, He's doing a lot more of the football operations. As for me, I'm bringing in the partners and everything. Um, we have a great deal going on right now with the McClure Hotel, who's the local hotel in Wheeling. Uh, we have a partnership with the local biscuit company there, uh, Wheeling Island Hotel, Racetrack, and Casino. We also have Godfather's Gentleman's Club uh, as our nightly venue. So uh, the players will be living well, uh, as I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. That is awesome. You know, the marketing is one of the most important yeah. parts of building an arena football team and yep. building the fan base. That That's how you build a fan base right there. Yeah. Getting the local sponsors, getting the local, local anything, local eateries, local hotels, yeah. local it, whatever. It really, yeah. To get them but all in. We're, and, we're, um, we're, Spawn, we're uh, headquartered at the hotel. So uh, the hotel has given us a incredible partnership. It's one that, you know, uh, really is really generous of them to, to give to us. So we're very thankful for that. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Cannot wait to, to, you know, you know, see, to see how that continues to grow and stuff like that. I know I'm sure both, the lead, both the team page and the hotel itself will be, you know, announcing things on and off throughout the season. I cannot wait to see those posts on all the social medias. Um, I got to ask <laughs> for the people that do not know you are a very avid, you know, aficionado on horse racing. So yeah. I, I need, I, I think the people want to know, maybe they want to know. We'll see if they want to know, but I want you to tell me about your horse racing ventures. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, you can see behind me, I, I have a, a, a nice little arrangement of photographs of all my race horses. Um, well, not all of them, but majority of them here. Um, you know, it, I, uh, I decided, you know, in 2022 to get involved in horse racing. And I got to say it was probably the best venture I've ever gotten involved in. Um, a lot of, a lot of folks have been a huge support to me at the, at the track on and off, uh, supporting, uh, all of our horses and all of, all of the, the great people we have who, who really dedicate their time to, to the horses that I own in their, uh, in their barns. So, you know, I own I own racehorses around the world. Uh, most of them are right now in Florida. We actually just shipped a couple down. Um, I was part of the ownership group involved in Mage, who was the Kentucky Derby winner this last year. I was probably the one of the greatest wins I've had in uh, in my career. And you know, I don't think I'll have a more exciting moment than that uh, seeing him cross the finish line. So. Uh, you know, I, I really think the, the horse racing career has been one that is that has really been my biggest success. And, uh, you know, we we have a uh, we, we make a scene at the racetrack. I have a great suit partnership with Pierce Bespoke, uh, who is a local suit company. And, uh, and just being able to see the horses race every every weekend uh, under my silks, under my name is uh, is really, truly truly special to me. I have a nice big belt that's behind me right now. Here it is. Uh, it's a, it's a massive championship belt. Uh, I got this sent to me by a, uh, by a guy who, who makes championship belts. And he said, Hey, if you, uh, he said, Hey, I heard you, uh, you're going to have a horse in the Kentucky Derby. And I said, yep. Yeah. And he sent me this incredible belt here. I mean, just the, the, the marketing that we have with, uh, with the horse racing, it's really fun. It's a great venture to be a part of. Wow, man! Look at that championship. I wish I had a championship uh, no, like that. I actually, I got this same belt. The guy who made it to put the Wheeling Miners logo all over it, and uh, our our Wheeling Miners after every game, um, our season ticket holders will be able to take photos with the championship belt. And uh, so the 
the belt the belt is uh i'd say it's one of my one of my special things it's one that uh that i kind of have claimed for uh for the for the sports that i'm in so uh our minor team will have uh will all be wearing belts for uh for opening day okay awesome awesome that that is a lot to take in um where do you see where do you see the wheeling miners next year where do you see them do you see them you know maybe staying in the al maybe trying to move up or you know maybe i don't i don't know maybe move sideways yeah. in a way you know where where do you see this team in eight, next year in the twenty twenty four off season? Yeah, the twenty twenty four off season heading into the twenty twenty five season. Where do you see this team? Where 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 do you think this team will be? Yeah, I we've been we've been you know excited to be in the uh, American Arena League. I, a lot of people know us for. We, we announced that we were going to be joining the American Indoor Football League, the AIF. And uh, I know that everyone heard that we left the AIF uh, after just being announced as an expansion team there. So, uh, you know, we joined the American Arena League 2 this year. We're hopeful that the American Arena League will just turn into the American Arena League instead of the American Arena League 2. Um that's a mouthful to get out. American Arena League too. It's hard to say pretty quickly, but um, we're we're hopeful we can get into uh, we can work still work with them, and you know we'll we'll be making uh, we'll be making we're gonna get through this season. Uh, that's our goal. Get through the season, and then we'll look at uh, other ventures. But you know the National Arena League has been on our mind for a little while now, and uh, you know it seems like the American Arena League and the National Arena League have switched teams. Uh, really often I think Jersey was in there for a couple seasons and some other teams and you know it just you know let's get through this season and then we can see where uh where next season will take us that's yeah yeah that that's I'd probably the best there. way to put it that's probably yeah. the best way to put it try and get to this a year way. I'd love to be in the uh, Arena Football League or somewhere like that, but you know, I just want to get through this season before uh, shooting for the stars, as they say. Yeah, that that's that's probably the best course of action is oh, yeah. to get through this year uh-huh. and then maybe reevaluate where you are in the off season. Because again, this off season has been a complete and utter trip, uh, to say the least, with the yeah. way with the almost college sports like realignment of basically everybody everybody's oh, yeah. moving everywhere um i didn't know the national arena league i believe aren't they now like mainly they used to be uh east coast and now they're like midwest so, yes they're they're, yeah. they're it, it's concentrated in in the midwest for yeah, the most so, part i mean you know it seems like everyone's dancing around and trading teams so uh, I don't know if we're gonna partake in that little that little dance, but we shall uh, we shall see how it goes after this season. Yes, and where again can we find not only your team but yeah. also yourself? Where can we find where can we first where can we find you at? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram. Um, I am Mac underscore Davis underscore Horse Racing. You can find me there. Um, you know, you can shoot me a DM if you're coming to a game. Let me know if anyone here or whoever's watching, if you're if you're even a player who wants to play, shoot me a DM. We'll get you connected with the coaches. I'm on Discord as well. Um, I'm under this name, Real Mac Davis. Um, I'm in that in a couple of arena football group chats. Uh, and then as for the team, I'm also on Twitter too. So uh, you just look up Mac Davis on Twitter and I'll pop up. And then as for the team, you know, we're on GoWestVirginiaMiners.com. And then we're Wheelie Miners on all social medias. So uh, it should be easy to find us. We're also on LinkedIn. Uh, if you're trying to do business with us, um, you can shoot me a DM over on LinkedIn. But, you know, it's pretty easy to find us. Awesome. And speaking of social media, are you guys going to be streaming your games this year? And where oh, are yeah. you going to be streaming your games? So, you know, we're 
we're doing a whole – we're having a great team come in. We're going to be showing our games on YouTube uh, for all of uh, – for anyone to watch for free. West Virginia will be able to watch our games on TV. I'm not sure what the television station's called uh, that we're going to be put on. But I know that uh, I know that we can. Wheeling Island Hotel, Racetrack, and Casino. I just learned two days ago when we were talking with the management over there. You can bet on our games. I've never like they've they're already taking uh, prop wagers for it. The guy was like, "If you want to bet on your team win the championship, we can give you a line." And he said that they'll be available for uh, for the season. So uh, if you want to make a couple extra extra bands, you know, maybe pop a wager down on us. Um, we're also going to be on TikTok. Uh, we're going to be showing games on TikTok as well. It's going to be our YouTube stream just put on to TikTok. Um, and then we're also on Twitch and, uh, Twitter, which is the same in, uh, Facebook with the Facebook thing. It's all the same YouTube stream. It's just put out on those as well. So you'll be able to watch the same game as everyone, uh, but all of those apps we're really working on. Uh, the the outreach for these teams. And we're, I believe we're the only arena football team that is in the American Arena League that will be on uh, on YouTube, on air, or on most of those events. We have a whole professional team coming in. Uh, so we'll, we'll have advertisements, uh, live commentators, and all of that. And I don't know if we'll have the betting lines out on it, but uh, the casino says we will. So uh, I don't know how you can bet on that, but be on the lookout for it. But I don't know if you should bet on uh, arena football. It seems like a little degenerate kind of thing to do. But uh, we we all we're all there sometimes, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, IFL games. You were able to bet on IFL games last season. That's probably going to continue this season. So yeah, I open up like arena football, fantasy football, and get like the minors fantasy football team. Something like that. Something cool. I think they do have that in one of the leagues. They have fantasy football. But, I mean, I think it's crazy that, you know, you can wager on anything nowadays. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I think I'll just I'll just keep it to the NBA and NFL oh, yeah. players. I'll just keep it to the players chalking feet on, on take, these fantasy sports easy, sites and everything like that. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> not... not I don't. I don't think I want, you know, oh. plus three hundred. Um, mm-hmm. The West Virginia Midas are going to win the AL. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they make the. I don't, the think, I don't think I can do that type of bet. <laughs> I don't know how they make the lines for that, but I'm kind of interested. I I told the guy I was like, "Yo, when you get them out, shoot me a DM. I want to see what you put me at. I just want to know. Like, I feel like you know we're a first time team." We don't even, you know, we don't have anything on us. We'd have to be like plus 1,500 or something. I don't know. I, But hopefully the casino gets some revenue from that. If you do, here's the deal. If you do and we do lose, I'll give you back uh, whatever you put in because I feel bad. You know, I feel like, that. I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel good having them bet on, uh, having people place wagers on our games. I think that's a little weird. But, uh, but you know, now nowadays, hey, if people want to bet on it, people want to bet on it. Some dude in Finland could be betting on it, and I wouldn't even know. It happens. It literally it happens does. each and every day. It happens each and every day. People bet on things that are just not, not, just not. It's just not right to bet on. Like, yeah, e-sports. well, it's not, it's not right to bet on esports. No, when people bet on esports players anyway. So. There was uh, at the at the casino they were having a championship where you could bet on um, it was like the World Putt Putt League and you could bet on putt putt mini golf or whatever it's called uh, and you could bet on the the amount of hole in ones one of the mini golf players makes. I'm like, really? I di- I didn't know people uh, people wanted to to bet that, but I guess you know in this day and age, if uh, if it's a sport. You can put some money down and hope for the best. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get on out of here. Going to get on and skip out because this has been quite a long you know, video. Hopefully, 
everybody enjoys when they see. And that's Mr. Real Mac Davis. I'm Big Boy Sports, and I am going to see y'all later. And again, hope y'all are having a good Tuesday night, Wednesday, whenever this is seen, because I'm probably going to upload it probably at some point tonight. So, uh, so, you know, have a good rest of your Tuesday. Whenever you're going, it's a Wednesday, y'all. And I will see you all at some point tomorrow to talk the NFL. Again, there will be more interviews like this whenever, whenever, whenever the opportunity presents itself. So this is not a one-time thing. Uh, and plus, I have to get better at doing my interview skills again and everything like that. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so it, it's a learning experience for myself. So again, thanks so much, everybody. Thanks, Mac, for coming on. Of course, to, yeah. Thanks for having me. To to this, uh, I'm really appreciative of it. When you when you when you reached out to me, I was like, I was jumping and throffing at the opportunity to do this because I haven't done this in so long. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Please continue to help make Big Boy Sports even a bigger channel than it already is. It has been growing lately due to videos talking about arena and indoor football. So I want the I want the hype to keep going. So keep the hype going, y'all. And I will see you all very, very soon to talk the NFL. Your boy Sports signing out, and I'll see you soon.